I'm speaking with Molly Antipole, author of The Un-Americans, um, which is an amazing short story collection, and I feel very lucky to have read an advanced copy. Um, and I read it in two sittings. It was just really remarkable. And I did keep thinking there's no way that she can be so young and have such wisdom in these stories. Um, and so my question for you, I actually wanted to start and ask you what some of your favorite short story collections are. Um, ones that maybe young writers, um, story writers can read to study or learn from or inspire or just enjoy. Oh, sure. Um, see, I feel like my favorite story collections have been my favorites like since I first started writing the stories. So uh, Grace Paley's Enormous Changes at the Last Minute is probably my favorite collection in the world. Uh, I love James Baldwin's stories. Alice Munro was really big for me. Um, Edith Perlman I really, really love. And I love the collected stories by Not Your Religion. So, nice. yeah. Um, and then this is a question that I've been asking everyone. Um, mostly because, as I told a couple of people, sometimes it's hard for me to take myself seriously. Uh -huh. Especially in this like pre-pub, right? Like getting ready to launch your book into the world. And um, when did you feel you know, confident enough, confident enough to give yourself the permission to think of yourself as a writer with a capital W. Um, I mean, it took forever. I feel like I, I also teach, and so for the longest time, I also just felt like saying I was a writer without having a book would seem like pretentious. So I would always just say I was a teacher, even though I was, you know, almost done with the book and then done with the book. Um, but I feel like when you actually have the book ready to come out, then then I felt more comfortable. Um, but yeah, the taking myself seriously thing took a really long time. Um, I think for me, I think for me it was this moment where I realized that um, I kept rearranging the stories on the floor and trying to figure out the order. And when I realized that I actually would have been happy with like any of them being in whatever order, I was like, okay, I actually finished this book. That's it took great. me ten years, but I can, you know, I'm happy with the stories. That's great. So yeah, I was wondering about that, about the order of the stories. Um, and you know, I mean, I feel like. I agree with you. I think, and, and it's rare to read a collection where every story feels as strong as the one that came before it and afterwards, which I think is, you know, and um, I think, you know, for me, I mean, personally, you know, the themes of like leaving your home and finding a way to tell, to tell your history without having that maybe passed on to you. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that was something, something that I've seen you talk about in an interview is the story of your hometown, which is, or your family's uh -huh. hometown, which is Antipole, um, but it was hard for you to find that story. Um, and what is, what is your family think? Have, has your family read the book? Um, yeah, I mean, they've read the, whatever stories have been in journals or, you know, have been published. Um, they haven't read the whole book in galleys yet, so, but I mean, I'm not nervous. So, yeah. <laughs> and um, so when you're not writing and reading and teaching, writing and reading, what do you do for fun? <laughs> I, mean, I kind of feel like that's it. I'm always writing or teaching. Or, um, I travel a lot. Um, I'm in Israel part of the year, so um, so I'm there a lot, and I do a lot of traveling from there. Um, I mean, when I'm having a hard time writing, I, I run a lot, and that kind of helps me. I go on hikes with my dog. Right. And then one last question is, um, you know, I was talking about with the other writers about how serious a lot of author photos are, and um, I thought <laughs> I thought of this. Quite, my editor wants me to use a smiley one, which I'm like, no. Uh -huh. um, so I thought of this question of what makes you laugh. Oh my gosh, I love television. I mean, I know it's not very um, fancy of me, but yeah, I love TV. What make a lot of books make me laugh. Um, my friends make me laugh. My family, my nieces and nephews. It's great. Yeah. And will you sign my book? Oh, I'd love to. Thank okay. you so much. I'm really happy to meet you. <laughs> oh, do you have a pen? Okay. Oh, wait, is that it?